Hello visionary beauties, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I want to say a huge welcome. And if you're here for this win and slay, please continue to watch. Okay. Sis, this here though, before we get into this, if you haven't already and you like when I'm bringing it to you, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that alert notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you won't miss another upload and you keep winning with me. So this hair was brought to you by my pockets. This was a really tough pill to swallow. Before we get into the price point, we're gonna talk about this wig and then we're gonna get into that price point and what I think about it. This is the very new, hot off the, I don't know if you would say press, but hot off the factory line, main concepts, braided with Nikki in a length 28 inches. And I got it in the color Bug, but this is burgundy. So it's a 13 by seven lace wig. And it says invisible braids, style in one. And let me go ahead and show you that stock card. So actually the style number is RCBI01 Nikki, 28 inches. Slaying sisters. And it does come with this lace tape that is right here. Let me read you the benefits they're saying this has. So invisible braids, 13 by seven frontal lace, natural baby hairs, see here maximum comfortability no orientations no odor breathable fabric easy to cut lace so that's what they're stating here and it has the care instructions inside as well so this is what the box looks like that it comes in and it says red carpet premiere so that is this box so let me get into what I like about this wig. Well, let me get into the specs and then I'll get into my pros and cons about this wig the specs on the wigs are that it is as you can see, the lace comes to about here, so it is a seven by 13. There is three combs, not where you think they would be. The two combs are actually way back here, and then there's a one comb at the back and adjustable straps. Now, the cap is comfortable, it's breathable, it's really realistic. As far as big head friendly, it is a bit snug. So when you're rocking this, either you have to wrap your hand underneath this before you apply the wig, or you're gonna have to lay them down with some very neat braids like they these plat your braids need to be your cornrows need to be flat flat as you can get them in order to pull this off really seamlessly like i did i pretty much braided them about i want to say about 17 18 19 braids i guess cornrow going back and i had to lay them pretty flat now the baby hairs i didn't cut them because i want you guys to see how long they are they're fairly long so you do have that realistic i think the scalp how they did it is really, really realistic as far as the knots on the hair, if you're worried about that, you barely see the knots with the braids. I think that's absolutely dope. There is no flyaways. You don't see any straggly hairs in this. Um, you're not gonna get no tangling. I mean, it's great. Let's see what else. As far as the cap is concerned on me, I think that I wish I had a little more wiggle room with the cap because it does slide back a little so if you're gonna rock this, either I suggest you sew it down or glue it down however you can tack it down. I would tack it down most definitely because I am getting some sliding going back. So I would definitely, you know, sew it down at the points, probably like right here, I would sit you down and y'all would just weave it inside where the braids are and I would tack it down that way. Or like you regular way and just, you know, tack it down with glue or got to be glue or gel, whatever you wanna do. But I do suggest that. Would I purchase it again? Hell yeah. For the price point, this is $160. Let me say that again, $160. That's not even including tax for this wig. So it is expensive, but here in New York, it's pretty expensive to get your cornrows now. This wig will last you a long time. You could have went to the hair store, that's gonna last, that style gonna last you about a month before it starts getting old and raggedy and you gotta go back and re-up. This you can have for a long time with maintenance and care. I'm not getting any frizz. You wouldn't even notice it. If I had tacked this down, you wouldn't even know. Seriously, and this is my real honest opinion, my $160 honest opinion for this wig. But I'm definitely going to, oh, main concept. Um, 1B, baby. I definitely want another one in a 1B. They also have a Minaj, which is 24 inches. Then this one is the longest one, which is 28 inches. And they're both 160 off of Gold Beauty and Y. That's who I purchased this one from. But I believe Wix Types has it for about 138. So make sure you guys are out there looking at coupons or promo codes so you could get a discount on these wigs. But this was 160. So yeah, yeah, you see that. 
that swallow. Yeah, I'm absolutely enjoying this. It doesn't make me look like a bullet head or predator, like some braids may have you, braided wigs may have you looking, you know, but look at this. Like, let me go ahead and give you that close up. I know you guys are dying to see the scalp, so let's get into that. This is the close up on this hair. I did put concealer here. You don't have to do that. This is a habit I have, but yeah, get into this, y'all. Get into this. So just keep in mind that you do have to remove the lace from the perimeter of the hairline. And as far as the smell, there was a slight smell. It smelled like a usual, you know, beauty supply pack synthetic hair braiding hair. So it had a little bit of a, an odor, but it did go away after wearing the wig. Let me go ahead and show you the color on this. This is the baby hairs. They are long. The cap should be a little more wiggle room because it stopped short about right here on me. And that could be just because it's sliding back. So I wish it had a little more room coming towards the front and this would be perfect. And the lace literally stopped short. The baby hair stopped short about right here. Temple, it should have came all the way down, I believe. And this would have been absolutely perfect. Uh, before I do the 360, just to be clear, this wig is parted to the right. So you get a right side part and you can't really twist this wig. I mean, there's just no, no wiggle room, literally. So let me go ahead and get into that 360. So obviously, the front. <laughs> so I just want to give main concept a round of applause. This wig is awesome. I wanted braids for so long. But I'm not gonna sit there. I'm just, frankly, I'm not gonna sit there and do them. I hate doing them myself. I'm not gonna sit there and get them done myself. Let me know what you guys think about this wig. Let me know what you think about the price point. Let me know what you think would be a reasonable price point for this wig. I was thinking maybe $100. I say that is a good ballpark figure for everyone to be able to afford this wig. I think $100 would have been good. Leave your comments down below. You know, sound off down below. Please stay tuned, because I got some dope videos coming soon. You guys don't want to miss it. Turn on your post notifications. Follow me on Instagram, so you keep up with the tea on me and what I'm coming at you with. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share so I can keep coming to you with this content. We can grow together. I want to continue to grow. So by sharing, I can continue to grow. I can continue to bring you content. And as always, stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty. Till next time, bye. Oh,